For our first batch of presenters, we will be having BA Broadcasting, Bachelor of Library and Information Science, and BA Political Science. BA Broadcasting, Research Title, Queer Baiting Yarn, Filipino Queer Boys Love Funds Perspectives of Boys Love Representation in Philippine Media. Researchers, Joshua S. Sariego, Jan Matthew M. Daniel, and Christine Janelle B. Fajardo. Advisor, Dr. Julius Cesar R. Pascual. Presenter, Joshua S. Sariego. Let me, let me call Mr. Joshua S. Sariego to present their research. To the Dean, professors, and students of the College of Arts and Sciences and the University of the East, to our Selection Committee panel, to my fellow researchers and all here present at the CAS Research Festival 2023, a pleasant morning to each and every one of us. I am Joshua Cespeña Sariego, fourth-year Bachelor of Arts in Broadcasting and the main author of the research entitled Queer Baiting Yarn, Filipino Queer Boys Love Fans Perspectives of Boys Love Representation in Philippine Media. And together with me are my co-researchers, John Matthew M. Daniel and Christine Janelle B. Fajardo, and our research advisor, Dr. Julius Cesar R. Pascual. So, our research revolves around the Boys Love phenomena, or what we call BL. So, I assume that many of us, or some of us, to say the least, are familiar with Boys Love or BL. So, just in case you are not familiar with it, let me share you some of the highlights of our review of related literature. BL or Boys Love is an emerging romantic subgenre that highlights the homosexual or homoerotic sexual relationship or romantic relationship between two male characters. That means to say it is not the typical men and women characters that we are seeing in media, for example, in films, series, and in television. The history started in the country of Japan in 1970s when the Fujushis or the Rotten Girls, or these are the group of women that uses to fantasize the, the characters between two male characters and they are reading the narrative. They are writing the narratives in the Japanese comic books or manga. It was adopted in the country of Thailand during 2007, entitled The Love of Siam, um, starring Mario Maurer. But it became popular on 2016 when the GMM TV first broadcasted their first ever BL series, which is the Sotos the series, most notably the, the Rise of Bright Wind during the pre-pandemic period, or in 2020. In the Philippines, however, it started only during the pandemic period. It was started during the Idea First company when they first produced their first ever BL series entitled Game Boys the Series, cast or starring Cocoy De Santos and Elijah Canlas. So for our research problem, so, so these are the examples of the, or, or the, of the BL series in the Philippines at the time during our research. So for our research problem, queer activists, fans, film critics have observed that the Pinoy Boys Love series is kind of advocating queer baiting. So what is queer baiting? Queer baiting is a marketing technique that includes queer characters in media but does not necessarily portray the authentic LGBTQIA plus representations. For example, they include non-queer actors or straight actors to portray the queer or the LGBTQIA plus roles in the said BL series. So, I'll explain to you later the implications of this. For our general objectives, 
It is to analyze the perspectives among Filipino queer Pinoy BL fans of the boys' love genre's representation in the Philippine media. Likewise, it describe, identify, and evaluate the opinions of queer fans and the current state of the Pinoy boys' love series. Of the Pinoy boys' love series, I'm so sorry, I'm lost. of the Pinoy Boys Love Series and its implications of queers in the Philippine media. So for our methodology, basically it is a qualitative research. Um, we use the, um, the purposive sampling. We employed a focus group discussion among queer fans and a focus, in, uh, and a focus interview to a gender studies professor to uh, making sure that they met the qualification which are first they, are, they should be a self-proclaimed queer. They should be a Pinoy Boys Love Series fans. They should be a bona fide Filipino citizen and they are of legal age. We conducted this research on a Zoom meeting because during the time of our research, the, on, the on-site classes are not yet permitted. So for the theoretical framework, um, these are the theories or the communication and media theories that plays a significant role for our research. That's our, that these are the uses and gratifications theory, queer theory, and most importantly, the media representation theory by Stuart Hall of 1992. So why media representation is important? Media rep representation is important because it entails how identities are represented in media. So we interviewed queer participants to identify whether or not they are properly represented in Pinoy Boys Love series. So we, it is very crucial for us to interview them because they can be a potential victims of such misrepresentations. And of course, we can never go wrong with people. So these are our integrated conceptual framework, just a glimpse of it. So as a result of our study, as a result of our study, um, of course, after the series of interviews together with, the par with our participants, the Filipino Queer Boys Love Series fans observed that the Philippine media is having a hard time to putting Pinoy Boys Love Series to mainstream media since the Philippines is conservative. So that is why the Pinoy Boys Love Series is not y have, haven't yet reached the the mainstream media or let's say the traditional media because the Philippines is still a Catholic country. Many Filipino viewers are not yet accustomed to seeing two male characters in or portraying, portraying a romantic relationship in media or in series or in films and other types of media content. Also, they have observed that the Pinoy Boys Love series are somewhat relatable. They have seen it on the Gaya sa Pelikula storyline. The Pinoy Boys Love series are portrayed by non-queer actors and it could subject to queer baiting. Pinoy Boys Love series are also full of gender stereotypes. The Pinoy Boys Love series here in the Philippines are somewhat... Um, Deciding who are the masculine, who are the feminine, who are the dominant, and who are the submissive in the sex positions. Next, increasing in lascivious scenes. It is unfortunate that the Pinoy Boys Love series here in the Philippines are somewhat centralizing on the sex scenes and the kissing scenes, which many claims that these are not the highlights of the romantic relationship between two characters within the same gender. And lastly, the lack of production funding. The gender studies professor have mentioned to us that the Philippine media is still a business enterprise. Therefore, they will not invest in a content that is not profitable. So because, that is because the media
the gender minority, which are the LGBTQIA plus community. The media companies should also cast queer actors. They should deplatform problematic and questionable filmmakers and actors. And they should immerse more with queer community for better representation. The media is so powerful that, can, that it can either make you or break you. Now, if the media is perpetuating wrong representation to an individual or certain group of people, there is a huge tendency that hate culture or for the, for the LGBTQIA plus community, the homophobia will still foster, especially for them, in the field, because they have faced so many decades of longing for acceptance and validation for our society. Gone are the days that queers are only represented as second lead, as the main character's BFF and the comedic relief in a media content. It is very unfair for them, for them that other peoples or the straight actors will earn money for portraying the lifestyle when they can themselves or they can portray the characters themselves. The Pinoy Boys Love series is certainly in its infancy and it is classified as a new genre. Therefore, we have a long time to go, yet we are making a slow progress. And that's it with that being said. Thank you very much and hashtag Soaring Broadcasting. Thank you, BA Broadcasting.